Thank you for joining us on this journey of 40 days of prayer. As we get ready to start day six, I wanna talk to you a minute about how to pray with confidence. Sometimes when we pray, we feel a little insecure or unsure, or we ask ourselves, am I praying the right way? We need to learn how to pray confidently. Now, I'm not suggesting that we have confidence in our ability to talk God into doing something he doesn't wanna do. I'm referring to having confidence in God's ability and willingness to answer our prayers because of who he is. In order to do this, we need to remember four things. First, God is a caring father. He loves us. He cares for us. He loves us more than any earthly parent is capable of doing. First Peter 5, 7 says, give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. We are to give all of them to God. Nothing is too small to pray about because God cares for us. If something is big enough to worry about, it's big enough to pray about. The second thing to remember is that God is a consistent father. God is consistently loving, consistently caring, compassionate, reliable, faithful, and true. Malachi 3.6 says, I am the Lord. I do not change. God is always the same, always loving us. Regardless of whether or not we turn our back on God, he consistently loves us. The third reason is God is a close father. He's not distant. He's not absent. He's never too busy for you. He loves to meet your needs. He's sympathetic to our hurts. Hebrews 13, five says, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. Just because we don't always feel close to God doesn't mean he's not close to you. The last reason we should pray with confidence is because God is a competent father. God can handle any problem we give him. Nothing is too big. He can handle any problem you face. Luke 137 says nothing is impossible for God. It's pretty clear there. Is there anything in your life that is that you feel is impossible for God to do? What's your biggest fear, your biggest dream? Don't limit God. God can exceed your greatest expectations. So the four reasons we can pray with confidence this week is because we know God is a caring father. God is a consistent father. God is a close father and God is a competent father. I hope you'll remember these and that you don't limit God when you pray. Pray with confidence as we pray together over each topic this week.